No Limit Texas Hold'em is a variation of poker in which the objective is to make the best five card poker hand possible using any combination of a player's two whole cards and five community cards. Now, here's a quick breakdown of poker hand ranking from lowest to highest. The lowest rank hand has no pairs and is called high card. It is followed by a pair which is two cards of the same rank and thereafter by two pairs. Then comes three of a kind. Players can beat any of these hands by making a straight, which is composed of five sequential cards that are not of the same suit. A flush is even stronger than a straight and is made with any five cards of an identical suit. The next strongest hand is a full house and is formed by three of a kind plus a pair. The highest and least common hands of strength in Texas Hold'em are four of a kind, straight flush, and royal flush respectively. Gameplay begins in a clockwise direction with the dealer, whose position is marked by the dealer button. Directly to the left of the dealer are two forced bets known as the small blind and the big blind. The big blind is double the amount of the small blind and is also the minimum bet at the table. The table stakes define the small and big blind values. Once the blinds are posted, the players are dealt two cards one at a time, starting with the small blind position. These two cards are known as whole cards. Once the whole cards are dealt, the first betting round called preflop begins, and players make their first decision on whether or not to play their hand. Since the small and big blind have already committed chips to the pot, the first action begins with the player seated left of the big blind position called under the gun. If a player wishes to play their hand, they must either call and match the previous bet amount or raise by at least doubling the last aggressive action. A player can also choose to raise all in, betting all of their chips in turn at any time. If a player decides against playing their hand, they simply fold and forfeit their hand to the dealer without having to sacrifice any chips. Once the preflop betting round is complete, the dealer reveals three cards face up at the center of the table known as the flop. The flop consists of three community cards that all players can use in combination with their whole cards. After the flop is dealt, the postflop round of betting begins. This round begins with the first remaining player to the left of the dealer button. When a player is in the first position, they have three options. Option one is to check and pass the opening action to the next player in turn. Option two is to bet an amount at least equivalent to the big blind and up to all of the player's chips or all in. Option three, while not advisable, is to fold in first position and simply pass the action to the next player. Should the first position make an opening bet, all of the following players can elect to fold or they must either call a raise in turn to stay in the hand. If the first position and all following players in a round check in turn, then the post-flop betting round is complete without an opening bet. At that time, the dealer then reveals the fourth community card known as the turn. The post-turn betting round begins thereafter, and player actions are identical to the previous round. The dealer then reveals the fifth and last community card known as the river. The final betting round known as the showdown then takes place. Upon conclusion of all wagering, all remaining players in the hand reveal their cards in turn, beginning with the last aggressor. The winner is the player with the best five card hand made with any combination of the seven possible cards, the two whole cards, and five community cards. Thank you for watching our video tutorial. Now that you've learned how to play Texas Hold'em, come test your skills against live online competition for free at popoverpoker.com or play Popover Poker on Facebook.